Right. Do I want to go right? Oh, restricted. God damn ya. It looks very nice texture wise. I wonder if maybe the DLCs had slightly better textures, maybe? So what would it take to get the project hmm. back up and running? Everything was in place when we were arrested. It wasn't a question of could we, but should we? Sorry, just listen to that. I had a quick drink. Sorry, right, let's go. Oh, that view. It's amazing. Right, this way I think. I just realised I recognise this layout, it's from one of the N7 missions, I haven't shown it. One of the M7 missions is basically this room. It shows they reuse room layouts occasionally. Right, oh, hello. What alternative do we have? The Reapers will reach this system regardless. But the Alpha Relay is their shortcut oh, right, let me get over there. the galaxy. If you want to keep the Reapers at bay, this relay must be destroyed. The world's slowest elevator. Brings back to my Mass Effect 1 days. Right. We have to get the project running again. It's probably the only chance we have. One sec. Let me get the door. Okay. It's one big artifact. Give you object row. You have the Reaper artifact just sitting here, out in the open? When we found it, it showed me a vision of the Reaper's arrival. Kenson, this is not good. Give it a moment, Shepard. It'll give you the proof you need. Shepherd. I can't oh dear. The oh dear. Of course they've been indoctrinated. And we are alone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Take her down. This bit's quite cool. Basically you get the option to survive the onslaught as long as possible. You can actually survive the entire time. Oh, fuck. And I've done it. There's an achievement for it. Basically, you have to survive like, I think it's like 15 minutes or something like that. Surviving in this. It's quite hectic, and that power level thing comes through every now and then, and it's any shields that you have. We're not really going to do that because it's kind of boring. It's just 15 minutes of me just fighting enemies. And I've already got the achievement on Xbox, so I don't care about getting it again on PC. We'll, we'll make a little bit of an attempt to fight back, and then we'll just let ourselves die. We won't overly try to survive. It's quite cool, gives you the option. Oh, hello, Harbinger. Oh, fuck no, he just exploded. I, I used the um, overload, and I think it just blew up his, his um, flamethrower pack. Oh, it does, that's amazing. Oh shit, we're gonna die. Oh. Of course, you don't actually die, you just get knocked out. And you wake up some hours later. It's quite cool that you do that. If you survive, then you the thing overloads and does it anyway. So. Why? Why would the Reapers want me alive? Shepard's like the greatest threat to them. Has, you know, stopped them twice now. Why would they want her alive? Just kill her, their problem's done. This bit now. It's the bit I'm thinking of. 
Fucking bitch. But yeah, we're in our fucking, like, Admiral uniform is quite weird. But you got Hacker Robot, if I remember correctly. All was research log I just saw. In there. You were. How could you not see? You were being indoctrinated. Oh, this is quite cool. Yeah, lock me a row of a terminal, some fucking robots. Here we go. We have control of the mech. It's quite cool, this bit. Sorry. Can you have punch? No, you can't. Oh, God. There we go. It's quite cool that it gives you this control option. I think if you blow up, it just gives you another mech. There's plenty back in that room, isn't there? There we go. You can see yourself. Oh, you can't even see myself. That's very well done. So, I know you can if I go back. Oh, fuck it, I can't be bothered. So you can see yourself go up to the window. Does Robo Robo sacrifice himself for the greater good? Oh god, there's nothing left of him. Right then, let's get our armor back. Normally should I be stopping this kind of thing, you know? Stopping them trying to basically blow up a planet. <laughs> this time we're going to do it. Oh fucking hell, it's been two days we've been out. Fucking hell. Okay. Um. Right. Let's save the world. Well, let's end the world. It's quite a morally thing, bad, it's weird. He's like, basically, I'm stopping, they want to, they don't want to crash the thing into the relay anymore and kill thousands of Batarians on that planet. But if I let them not do it, then the Reapers will come. So I have to do it. It's quite a weird choice. Quite dark, actually. Oh, warp's so good now, I pretty much one hit them. So Shepard's basically slaughtering, you know, tons and tons of innocent people. Yes, they're indoctrinated and they're fighting against them. It seems a bit kind of like she's just like, yep, okay, I'll just fight them. I'm not even going to try and like make any attempt to say you're indoctrinated, don't shoot. You know, it's a bit kind of like, okay. I missed my melee button initially. Are they actually there or is that a background? No, they're there. Okay. The longer we're here, the more I'm convinced that the project must be stopped. We simply don't know enough about what the Reapers want. 
Rooms. I scan the room to see is there a way I can blow anything up. I can blow him up. I just love it. It's like I'm like hacking into his like barrels on his flamethrower to explode. Oh fuck. I can't see a thing. Oh fuck. Oh, fucking hell these flashbangs. Wasting overload, it's useless against normal enemies. Shield enemies is good, and these guys seem to be good as well. I'm hoping, yeah, I can. <laughs> oh my god. I couldn't even see him, and I'm just like, bam. Oh my god, there's so many coming through. They really do not want me. They're just like giving their lives for me like, to try and get me. Down again. Oh. Okay, they're all dead. I think they are. What's over here? Engine control. Huh. But yeah, this is the countdown if you just basically wait for an hour and a an hour fifty minutes. Then Reapers win. Welcome to Project Control. I want to activate the project. Warning. Activating the project will result in an estimated 305 Fucking hell. casualties. Do you wish to continue? Okay. We are heading towards a relay. I don't get... It's like you get the choice between warning them or just call them normally and fuck them, but you escape anyway. Knowing it in hindsight, that option is pointless. So you might as well go for that one. Chance to send the warning still, okay. Sorry, Batarians, no warning for you. I forgot about that. I knew you escaped, but I forgot that you get interrupted. Yeah, it's a bit kind of like moral choice, which doesn't mean anything. Mm. Didn't do that too often in these types of games, in Mass Effect, but mm. it's like you know, when it does that in games, it gives you a choice. The illusion of choice when it don't actually mean anything at all. Right. Don't try to stop me, Shepard. I have to do this. I've already activated the project. We can still escape this rock. There is no escape. There's no redemption for what you've done. I will die, never having seen the Reaper's blessings, and you will just die. Damn it, Kenson! Oh fuck. Aha. Flame tank. This is going to be interesting. Okay, you didn't do anything. Shepard is trapped in the 
Fine. I'm not trapped. I will find a way out. It's down here. Anything down here? Just that. Why is that just an like, empty window? That docking bay. I swear I pressed that. See, the alley of it is quick. Oh, fuck. fuck this. Do it the quick way. Ow. Sorry. Why is it always so easy to destabilize shit or cause a meltdown in these types of things? But it's always reversible. So many games and films are like, oh no, he's caused the core's going to meltdown. Like, oh, don't worry, we'll find a way to reverse what he's done. Just once, it'd be cool to have it, like, irreversible for once. You know, to make a sacrifice or something. But no, there's always a way. 